Hi, welcome to this Corp Mars video. In this video, we're going to look at an introduction to trigonometry. So to start off with, we're going to look at how to label the sides of a right angle triangle, because that's very important. Whenever we're doing trigonometry questions, we need to know how to label the three sides of a right angle triangle. So here we've got a right angle triangle, and we can see it's a right angle triangle because it's got this symbol in the corner. So that angle there is 90 degrees. And we've got this angle at the top marked on. This angle here is marked Vita. So this is Vita, and it's sometimes used to label an angle of a triangle. So we've got this right angle triangle with our right angle and our angle at the top Vita. So let's label our three sides. So whenever I'm labeling the sides of a right angle triangle, the first side that I always label is the hypotenuse. And the hypotenuse is the longest side of a right angle triangle, and it's always opposite the right angle. So here's the right angle so the side opposite the right angle this side is the hypotenuse so there's the hypotenuse so that's our first side labeled now let's label our next side of the right angle triangle so whenever you're doing a trigonometry question you're either trying to find or you're going to be using an angle in the question so let's look at this angle this is the angle we're considering at the top here so the side opposite that angle so the side opposite that angle is called the opposite so that means that the side at the bottom here is called the opposite so that's two of our sides labeled and finally the last side the third side the side that's left is called the adjacent so this left hand side of this triangle is the adjacent and it's adjacent to the angle so it's beside the angle so it's called the adjacent so that's it so with this right angle triangle our three sides are the hypotenuse the side opposite the right angle the opposite the side opposite the angle that's involved in the question and finally the adjacent okay let's have a look at another triangle okay let's label the three sides of this triangle so again let's start off with the hypotenuse so here's our right angle so the side opposite it will be the hypotenuse so this side's the hypotenuse okay next here's the angle that we're considering in the question so the side opposite it so the side opposite it will be called the opposite and finally we've got one more side left so that means the side that's left here, the bottom, is going to be the adjacent. So in this right angle triangle, the hypotenuse is the side opposite the right angle. The opposite is the side opposite the angle that we're considering in the question. And finally, we've got the adjacent there at the bottom. Okay, so now we know how to label the sides of a right angle triangle. Let's have a look at our trigonometric ratios. Okay, so here are our trigonometric ratios. So if we've got a right angle triangle where we've got this right angle and we've got the hypotenuse opposite it, we've got our angle here, Vita, and the side opposite it's called the opposite and our adjacent. The trigonometric ratios are the tan of this angle is equal to the opposite divided by the adjacent. The sine of this angle, sine Vita, would be equal to the opposite divided by the hypotenuse. And finally, the cos of this angle would be equal to the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse. So there are trigonometric ratios, and they're really important to learn that the tan of Vita is equal to the opposite divided by the adjacent, the sine of Vita is equal to the opposite divided by the hypotenuse, and finally, the cos of Vita is equal to the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse. And as I said, it's really important that you know those trig ratios. Now, some people remember saying such as soh ka toa, so where you've got soh, where it's S-O-H, so sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, ka, which is cos is equal to adjacent divided by hypotenuse, and tan, toa, which is equal to opposite divided by adjacent. I like to remember two old angels skipped over heaven carrying a harp. And that helps me remember the trig ratios. Two old angels skipped over heaven carrying a harp. So those mnemonics can help you remember the trig ratios. And as I said, it's very important that you know them. And whenever we look at our questions where we're finding the sides of missing sides of right angle triangles, or whenever we're using trigonometry to find the sides of angles, we'll need to know those trig ratios. Okay. And finally, it's important that with your calculator, your calculator is in the right mode. So here, whenever you're looking at your calculator display, and um, whenever you're doing a trigonometry question using a calculator, it's very important that your calculator is in degrees mode. So that it's got a little D at the top. So this calculator has got a D, that's perfect. So that's in degrees mode. So if your calculator's got that D at the top, you're ready to do use your calculator to work out trigonometry questions. And if your calculator has an R or a G at the top, whenever you do trigonometry using your calculator, it's going to give you the wrong answer. So very important that if you have an R or the G at the top, that you change it to a D. And I'm going to show you now how to do that. Um, if you do have any brothers and sisters who do A-level maths, their calculators will regularly have an R at the top, and they would use radians quite a lot. So if you're using an older brother or sister's calculator and they do A-level maths, it can be quite useful to make sure you know how to change it to have a D at the top. So let's have a look and see how we do that. So if you've got this type of calculator here, the new Casio, so first of all, you'd press the settings button, this button here, and then this would come up on your calculator display. At the beginning, it will have the top one highlighted, this calculator settings the calculator settings you can then press ok or to the right i tend to press ok and when you press then ok you'll then see this menu where you've got input output angle unit number format and engineer symbol you want the angle unit because you want degrees so you're going to press down 
and then press OK. And then you're going to see this menu and you want to make sure the degree is selected. So you'll make sure that you highlight that one. So you leave it press up or down or you make sure this top one selected and then press OK. And then once you've done that, then you can press AC and it just brings you back to the calculator display. And hopefully you'll have that day at the top. If you do have an older Casio, what you'll need to do is go into setup. So you'll press shift and then setup and then this menu will come up and you want number three for degrees. So you'll just press number three and then that'll have degrees selected for you at the top. And that's it. So in this video, we've looked at how to label the three sides of a right angle triangle, starting off with the hypotenuse opposite the right angle, the opposite opposite the angle that's involved in the question, and then finally the adjacent. We've looked at the trigonometric ratios that they are that tan vita is equal to opposite divided by adjacent, sin vita is equal to opposite divided by hypotenuse, and cos vita is equal to the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse, and they are the trig ratios, and it's very important to remember them. And the mnemonics such as Sokatoa or two old angels skipped over heaven, carrying a heart might be useful, and also that whenever you're using your calculator, it's very, very important that you have that D at the top. And that's it. So this video has been an introduction to trigonometry. In our next video, we're going to look at how to use trigonometry to find missing sides of right angle triangles and then in the video after that we'll look at how to use trigonometry to find the sides of missing angles okay thanks very much cheers bye